Hey, what's up guys, Stefan here. Today, I'm gonna to quickly run you through my new home studio desk setup. It's super clean, very minimal, and ideal for anybody with limited home studio space. I'm going to walk you through the gear that I use and some of the clever implementations that you could also use to help maximize your desk real estate and minimize your home studio's footprint. But before we jump into that, I'm giving away three of my favorite Native Instruments expansions, Global Shake, Meteoric Rise and Sierra Grove. Stay tuned to find out how you can win. Cool, so let's jump in. So first we have the desk. This is by a company called DVase, I believe. It's 140 centimeters long and 60 centimeters deep. It's a great looking desk, but what really sold me was the cable port. This helps me keep the desk super clean and organized. All of my cables are going into the stone tethered docking station by Henge Docks. This is a great solution for anyone with a, a USB-C MacBook Pro. It has an SD card slot, USB type C port, stereo output, three USB type A ports, one that can charge a device also, ethernet, mini display port, and power. This means I have one cable to plug in when I sit down with my laptop and I'm good to go. This is what I run my samples off. It's a solid state drive, so we gain speed there, but it's also USB 3.1. This results in blistering fast transfer and read and write speeds, which in turn means samples load fast and run smoothly. Its small form factor means it's extremely portable. And even if you were to leave it on your desk, it doesn't take up much space at all. But I use a bit of Velcro under the desk to hide it away. The Samsung T5 comes in a number of capacities. This is the 500 gigabytes model, but I wish I bought the one terabyte model as it's already full. When it came to my Mac, I also opted for the smaller of the two MacBook Pros, which led me to putting up a second monitor, which is a cold compromise, seen as I wanted a small laptop to carry around with me, but when I bring it back home, I can easily fire it up on a larger screen. This is an old monitor I already had. It's not very great. It's the Acer KG221Q, which has a 21.5 inch screen. And I have it mounted on this Von Haus desktop mount it leaves room underneath the monitor and it offers me more flexibility than just mounting it on the wall as i'm able to move it and adjust it as and when i see fit all right guys so before we jump onto the next piece of gear i just wanted to quickly tell you about the competition how you can enter and how you can win it's super simple all you have to do is one follow me on instagram at stefan guy audio two take a photo of your home studio with the hashtag SG Studio Tour 2019 and three just tag me in the photo again at Stefan Guy Audio. And the winner will be chosen at random so it's not a competition on whose uh, studio looks the best. I know everybody's at different stages right now and I don't think that, that would be fair. However, never despise humble beginnings. I started on a Yamaha DJX and that was my home studio. Use what you have and I'd love to see what you're using. For more information about the competition, please check the description below. There's also gonna be a, a few rules down there as well, just to make sure that no one is cheating. A bit like the desktop mount for the monitor, I have this desktop uh, headphone holder by a company called Gravity. Sitting on them is the Bayer Dynamic uh, DT770 Pros. Um, I use these for recording and I do a little bit of mixing on them. For my studio monitors, I still have the Mackie MR5s. So the monitors sit on some Arlex foam. This creates a bit of isolation from the desk and the monitors go into the Scarlett 6 i6. I actually have the 2i2 also, which is more minimalist so to speak and if you only need two inputs and two outputs then by all means go for it this 6i6 is a bit more versatile which is useful for me as uh, my setup changes quite often depending on my needs and the work i'm doing and not just for work for example i sometimes set up uh, my ps4 or xbox in here and it allows me to use my studio monitors with said consoles. Lastly, we have the Machine Micro MK3, 
and this fits perfectly in this spot right here. It's much smaller than its predecessor and for that I am thankful. Now for the keyboard, I have the complete A25, but even though it's 25 keys, it's still pretty big and doesn't really work for this setup. If you have a slightly uh, bigger desk or, or less things on your desk, then it would probably work for you. But I'll probably get something smaller at some point. Um, Native Instruments just announced uh, a new keyboard, a new 32 key keyboard, um, which they're coming out with that looks like it will fit nicely in this spot. And 32 keys, that's a lot better for me. But for now, I'm using the Complete Control Mark II S49. The great thing about the desk that I have is that the legs are right in the corners. So it means that I can easily afford to slide in a wide stand such as uh, with the KM table stand I have here. I can fit this under the table quite comfortably and still have a lot of leg room. With other traditional stands like the cross stands, you can't get your legs underneath. All right guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and gained some inspiration for your home studio setup. Remember to post your setup on Instagram for your chance to win. And if you're new around here, why not subscribe? I do loads of videos like this and next week's video is going to be sick, I promise you. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.